Hello friends, this is Hedda. Usually you only see my monthly setup in video format and then I post pictures of my weekly spreads on my Instagram, but this month I figured I'd make an exception and show you one month worth of weekly spreads. Before we get into the spreads, I just want to let you know that I have made three sticker sheets following this theme, all available in my sticker shop, ikigaipapir.com. I really like how they turned out and I have lots of other stickers in the shop as well if these are not to your liking. Alright, so I filmed this video in the beginning of May, so I had already set up the first weekly spread because I needed that. I like to make my weeklies a tiny bit ahead of time, like a couple of days before the next week starts. Obviously I made an exception to make this video since I set up all the remaining weeklies at once. The first layout is inspired by Kelly from WithKX on Instagram, who I saw did a layout like this in April. I combined drawings and stickers to decorate, but the planning part of the spread is very simple and I really enjoyed using it. I like to make each weekly spread with a different layout just so that the weeks are properly separated and feels brand new, if that makes sense. So this second weekly spread is inspired by a layout I saw Lisa from Feather O do a few weeks ago. I have no idea if I pronounced that correctly. Uh, that's the problem with usernames sometimes. Um, this layout really reminded me of the kind of layouts I used to do in my bullet journal back in like 2018, 2019. I often sketch out the layouts before making them just to make sure I have enough room for everything I want to fit in the spread. The way I built this particular layout is I split each page into a slim column on the outer edge and a wider one towards the middle. And then I split the wide columns into four parts each because that would give me lots of room to write for each day of the week. As for the column on the left side, I put a little mini calendar and a small overview of the week where I can write down events like family dinners or meeting friends. Not that that happens very often these days, but you get the point. On the right page, I made a task list under the title This Week, and for the rest of the spread, I tried to decorate it as much as possible to make it fit the celestial theme that I chose for May. You'll see me use some stencils and stamps and stuff from Notebook Therapy in this video, and I have a discount code for 10% off if you're interested in that, it will be in the description box. I also have a discount code for Macy Lane Co, which is where my current notebook is from. This next spread is kind of a remake of one of my weekly spreads from April that I really enjoyed, but the end result still looks completely different from the one I made in April. I bought these date stickers on AliExpress and I'll put a link to those in the description box because I get a lot of questions about them. I didn't really sketch much of the spread, I just split each page into two columns and then I split each page into three rows. So this way I have six almost equal boxes kind of to work with on each page, but I'm not drawing up any lines or boxes with a pen, so to separate the days from one another I'm using a pastel marker to color in every other row of some of the days. It looks a little bit messy now, but it will make so much more sense once I've actually used the spread. I also think it would look even nicer with uh, an even lighter marker, but this was the lightest blue that I had. Since I have 12 sections to work with, but only 7 days of the week, I'm using two sections on the left page for decoration, and then I'm using the entire column on the right side of the right spread to make a little section for goals for the week, as well as a task list. The decor on this spread was mostly hand lettering, stickers and stamps, which I think is a really nice combination that doesn't require much drawing. And I also couldn't resist drawing some sparkles, like everyone else and their moms. The last weekly spread for May is also a layout that combines things I really liked from weekly spreads I've made in the past. Basically I've split the left page into two columns, with the outer one being slightly slimmer than the inner column. 
the outer column has a section for events and then in the inner column I built a section for goals for the week and tasks. So this whole left page is just general planning for the week. And then on the right page I split the page into eight boxes, so one for each day where I can journal and put in smaller daily tasks. But we have to talk about my color choice for this week because I used this green as an accent color kind of in all the other May spreads, but I still felt like I hadn't used it enough. I felt like a lot of my spreads were very blue and yellow. So I was like, let's just make it all green this week. And I kind of regret it now because it's very green. I guess I'm just not a huge fan of this kind of sea green color. It might be a bit too cold for me, I don't know. But I don't take myself so seriously that I have to like scrap an entire spread and make a new one because mistakes are part of the process and I make my bullet journal to use it, not just to look nice and there's nothing wrong with the layout. So I'm going to use it even though the green makes my eyes hurt a little bit and that's basically what we have to work with this month I know this video is coming out like right in the middle of May but the video is not only relevant for May the layouts can be customized to fit any month and any theme and that's what's so great about weekly spreads before I leave you I just wanted to let you know that I have a giveaway happening right now over on my shop account on Instagram so my main Instagram is mochibujo but I also have an account for my sticker shop which is ikigai papir so go check that out I'm giving away nine sticker sheets which is actually the biggest giveaway I've done since I opened the shop so that's pretty exciting it is international so anyone can join next week I'll be showing you my setup for June which is a special month for me since it marks my four-year anniversary of bullet journaling if you want to be alerted once that goes live make sure that you subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you watch this video all the way to the end put a sun emoji in your comment that's all for now i hope you're all having a lovely day and i'll see you next time bye